So today we're looking at the Xi'an Crane M3S, which is a huge upgrade over the M2S. I mean, you have touch controls, you have multiple modes, a focus and zoom wheel, and just an overall better build. And in my experience here on YouTube when it comes to gimbals, you guys just want to know what it can do, how it looks, and whether it's worth the price tag. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Master Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. If you're new here, don't be a stranger. I'll put links to everything down in the description so you can find it easily down there, plus a surprise link. Also, make sure you drop a comment because throughout this month of July, I'm doing some big giveaways on random videos, and this might be one of the videos. So make sure you leave a comment and let me know what your favorite feature is on this Xi'an Crane M3S. And yes, this is the Xi'an Crane M3S combo version. And with the combo version, you get this really nice bag that has a lot of compartments to it. You get the gimbal itself, which looks really nice. We'll get back to that in a second. There is a strap in here for that bag, a high quality tripod for the gimbal, a phone mount, because yeah, you can use this with your phone, charging cable, and a bunch of other little USB-C cables that you can use to connect it to your different cameras. And as for the gimbal itself, it has a really nice controls on here, a very nice easy button to change your typical modes from follow to pan follow and lock. You also have a shutter button, which connected to your camera, you can start and stop recording. You have a nice power button on the side. You have your USB-C charging point, but also this port can be reversed and it can charge other devices like smartphones or your cameras. And then on the back side, you have your typical trigger where you can tap and hold to lock it in place. You can double tap it to recenter it and you can triple tap it, one, two, three, and it will actually go into selfie mode. And on the front you have a control wheel which you can actually go into your settings and you can set it for what you want to use it for like a roll control, an x-axis control, z-axis control, your aperture, shutter, ISO, e-focus or e-zoom. So if I was to put it on roll control, instead of trying to do that with your arm moving, you can actually really fine tune it with that roll control. And there's also a quarter inch thread expansion port here on the side where you can add other things like a mic or a light. However, if you look up here, you actually don't need to add an extra light because you have a tiny one up here. And although it's tiny, it's really bright. On the side here is where you have a dial where you can hold it down and you can turn on and off your light. And you can also use that dial to adjust the brightness or the color temperature of that light. To start the gimbal up, you can unlock these different access points, which is great for when you are traveling. You can just lock them up into place so that they won't be moving around. They have little measurement numbers on there too, so that if you are switching to a bigger lens or a different camera, you can remember which numbers that they're on and you can easily put them back onto that. And besides this thing being built like a tank, it's also very lightweight, just coming in at 705 grams. It has three access stabilization and also one feature that I love that a lot of cameras don't have is this will just keep spinning in 360 so it won't hit like a, an edge and you have to go back the other way. This will keep going. It has this really cool new quick release system where you can take your camera off that quickly and easily and just pop it back on there. You can get some different mounts for different cameras if you need to switch between them. But look at how quick that is. So you just pop that on and that makes it way more convenient because a lot of times it's a pain in the butt to try to have to, and it's, cause a lot of times it's a pain in the butt to have to try to screw it in every time, but just having it as a quick mount like that, yeah, it just makes it so easy. The battery in it can last up to seven and a half hours, which gives you a lot of time to use this. And it also has fast charging. So when you do charge it up, it will just charge up in no time. And one of the big new features on here is that it has Bluetooth on here to connect to your cameras or your smartphones. That way you can do all the controlling from here via Bluetooth, which is really nice. You don't have to have those wires. There are a bunch of gimbal modes on here to really help step up your creativity, like vortex mode, portrait mode, go mode, time-lapse mode, panorama, and motion-lapse, as well as a smart mode, which allows you to choose from a bunch of different built-in templates. So you can add certain camera movements, color grading, transitions, special effects, and music, depending on the template that you choose, which is where you would use the app. And with their app, you can actually remotely control it, 
which makes it perfect if you have a complicated shot, someone else can control it for you. The touch screen on here is also really nice. It is really easy to navigate around, change the settings, calibrate it, balance it, go to different modes. You can see some of the sample footage that I had with my FX30 and the Sigma 16 millimeter lens that's actually pretty heavy, so it handles that no problem. And the Sony with the zoom lens on there so that you can see that it does balance it, it keeps it really stable and there's not a lot of shake to it. And right now, as of recording this, you can pick this thing up for around $300 or $359 with the combo pack. And on this channel, I'm not trying to get you to spend your money. I just want to show you what's out there, show you how it feels, show you how it looks, show you what it does, and then you can decide for yourselves. But if you're in the market for a gimbal, I don't think you'd be mad if you got this one. I can't get enough of this build quality, taking this thing out and just how good that screen looks and just where the button placement is. It's, it's a really good gimbal. That is unless you have a bigger, heavier camera, which means you might need something like this which is the Zion Weebill that uh, I'll talk about next week. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for a lot more coming up on this channel and leave a comment down below to be part of the giveaways that are happening this month. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. That's Black. Can we call you Uncle Blackie?